The autumn wind is a pirate, blustering in from sea. With a rollicking song, he sweeps along, swaggering boisterously. His face is weather-beaten. He wears a hooded sash with a silver hat about his head and a bristling black mustache. He growls as he storms the country, a villain big and bold. And the trees all shake and quiver and quake as he robs them of their gold. The autumn wind is a raider, pillaging just for fun. He'll knock you round and upside down and laugh when he's conquered and won. What's up, Raider Nation? Silver and Black Attack coming at you again with another video. And today, we're going to discuss the Raiders' defense. The Raiders' defense is kicking ass in training camp, and they are looking really prepared and ready for the 2024 NFL season, which starts just shortly here on Saturday with the first preseason game coming against the Minnesota Vikings. As we discussed in our last video, we already know that Gardner Minshew and Aiden O'Connell have been struggling, but will each play one quarter to start the season off in the first preseason game against the Minnesota Vikings, which is huge to see who has the edge in terms of getting that week one nod to start the season against the Los Angeles Chargers. So I think the first thing we got to dive into is the D-line. The D-line has been very impressive. In AP's press conference just a few days ago, he noted that everyone is playing stellar on that defensive line and making plays. Most notably, he mentioned Tyree Wilson, Max Crosby, and Byron Young getting the most attention out on that practice field out in L.A. over the past two weeks. And obviously, Max Crosby is a no-brainer. You know, he's getting pressure on the quarterbacks. He's making it really difficult, clearly, for both the quarterbacks you know, to make any sort of, you know, throw down the field or, you know, he's overthrowing everything because Crosby's just running at you full speed. And obviously it's, you know, you're not sacking the quarterback uh, during these, you know, these practice sessions. But I think overall the elephant in the room would be Byron Young. And I know you want to elaborate on that a bit. Yeah. You know, I wanted to give credit to, you know, a myriad of, of different things and, you know, Dave Ziegler, a lot of people give him shit for being a bad GM. And, you know, we've done that too, but I give him credit for the drafting of Byron Young. You know, when you look at the D-line in totality, there's been an infusion of talent and we finally have some depth on that side of the ball. You know, for years and years, we started these, you know, makeshift defensive tackles to where there was never any push up the middle and you were always having to rely on edge rush from guys like Ngakwe and Crosby and the quarterback could easily step up in the pocket and hurt you downfield. But now we have guys like Wilkins, you know, we have guys like Tyree from the inside, um, you know, a Byron Young, you know, an Adam Butler. There's a lot of interior presence and depth there. And, you know, on the edge, I don't even need to mention Crosby, Koontz, you know, we got stars on that side. We have bookends um, on the defensive end spot. So we're going to have pressure. And that leads us into the linebackers in secondary with our favorite Bob Spillane up the middle. You know, he's a stud. I don't even need to talk about him. He's just been an all pro for us. Divine Diablo, another stud. And so the linebackers are playing well. Another guy I wanted to mention is Luke Masterson has apparently been doing really well um, in training camp. And he has really caught a lot of eyes. And I think I've seen, you know, several reports, whether that be from the new Raiders scout, who is now merged with the Raiders legacy channel on, on, uh, on Instagram. But he is a guy that could potentially be the next, you know, kind of Roberts Blaine player for the Raiders. Obviously, if you look at him, he's very young. I think he's under 25 years old. Uh, and, you know, I think it's just now this is going to be his third season on the Raiders. And he hasn't done anything spectacular, obviously, but he really does have a chance to be that second middle linebacker. You know, if Divine Diablo, you know, he's had injuries in the past. If Divine Diablo can't go, we'll be comfortable with Luke Masterson in there as a second middle linebacker. Yeah. So, as, as we said before, there's more depth on that second level with the linebackers as well. And with the secondary, you know, me and Rashawn were a little bit concerned with that other cornerback spot opposite of Jack Jones. And we thought we needed to add a veteran. It doesn't look like that's going to happen at this point. But honestly, with the play of Jack Bennett, all the reports are that he's been playing exceptional opposite of Jack. And so I don't, I don't think we need to go and grab a veteran with him playing well. So 
with Jack Jones, Jack Bennett, and Nate Hobbs in the cornerback positions, you know, that's as good as it gets in the NFL. And we have some guys behind them. D. Cam Richardson uh, has been playing well. I think he's a fourth-round pick. Uh, so he's there's some depth there as well. Sam Webb's another guy who's there, you know, waiting behind if if an injury were to happen, God forbid. And the safeties, you know, Trayvon made a step last year with three picks. Hopefully he can get more, get some four or five picks this year. That'd be ideal. And Marcus Epps is, is an anchor for us. You know, he's not going to get the picks, but he's a leader. He helps get everyone in the right position. So on defense, we got the horses. We definitely got the, the right guy at the helm in Patrick Graham, who me and Rashawn are both really high on. So the defense been playing really well. You know, they were the number one scoring defense at the end of last year. And I think they're going to be a top five unit from start to finish this upcoming year with the players and with the coaching. It's it's going to be an elite defense. Yeah, and to add on to that, I think we don't see many of the starters during the preseason, I don't think. Um, I'm not sure that we're going to, you know, the starters are going to get any playing time, you know, especially guys like Max Crosby, you know, guys like Rob Spillane, you know, they're not going to see the field much during preseason because we know what they're capable of. But one guy that we will see a lot of during preseason is Tyree Wilson. And Tyree Wilson is one case where, you know, all the news outlets have stated that he has made strides during the offseason, getting leaner and getting just more explosive and getting rid of his one bull rush move we've talked about in the past. He finally has broken out, finally can get around these linemen and are getting to the quarterbacks during the training camp. So if he can translate that to game speed, we'll be seeing a big year from Tyree Wilson. Maybe not the 14-3 and three that Raider D, shout out Raider D, has us going, but maybe we'll win eight or nine games. Yeah. Raider Nation, we appreciate you tuning in. You know, if you, if you like the channel and, you know, you enjoy our content, please hit that subscribe button, like the video, leave a comment down below, and share it with your friends. Those four things go a long way for us here at the Silver and Black Attack. But, uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in, and uh, we'll catch you later.